Hi everyone, this is Celine from Blue Cala Patterns and in this video series we're making the Daisy crossbody bag. Um, I am working on a blog uh, tutorial for the Janome Life blog and I'm going to be using the Daisy as my example and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to also uh, film the video tutorial for, uh, for, for this bag. So I'm going to start with the usual. I'm gonna talk about what you need in terms of uh, the notions and supplies. And then I will go through all of the pieces that you need to cut using the pattern pieces um, provided in the pattern. Um, in terms of notions, you don't need very much. You need two one inch D-rings and this will be where you're clipping your um, crossbody strap. You'll need a one and a half inch rectangle slide and two one and a half inch uh, swivels. Okay, so that's your adjustable strap hardware and this is the rings where you'll clip your um, adjustable, your crossbody strap. Now in the, the only thing I'm going to change is in the pattern, it makes you add on a, a fabric zipper tab to the end of the tab. So if you want to save a little bit on hardware costs, you can go ahead and do exactly what it describes in the pattern. Uh, but I really like these metal zipper ends. So that's what I'm going to be using in this video. Now in terms of pattern pieces, there's not very many. There's only four. Two of them need to be taped together. So main panel A and gusset C, they both have two pieces that need to be taped together at the dash line. Just make sure you match the symbols. Um, then there's also a top band B piece and that's the top band uh, that you see on the bag, both on the exterior and the lining. And then the scallop D, that's if you cho you're choosing to use the uh, scallop applique. Unfortunately, due to uh, lack of time, I'm not going to cover how to create the scallops for the bag. I might come back and do another video in the future uh, showing how to do the scallops. But for this video, I'm just going to do the bag without the scallops. So I'm just going to set that aside since we're not going to use it. Um, now I'll go through all the pieces that I've cut. So using your uh, main panel A, you're going to need to cut the following pieces. You'll need two exterior fabric pieces and you're going to want to cut a piece of matching fusible woven interfacing and fuse that to the wrong side. You're also going to need from the same pattern piece, two lining pieces and for these ones, you're also fusing some woven interfacing. I've used a li my lightweight, uh, the Blue Cala Light, on the lining pieces, and I've used the Blue Cala Medium on the exterior pieces. I've also cut out two pieces of fusible fleece, and before I fuse these to the, back, the wrong side of the exterior pieces, I'm actually going to trim away the seam allowance and that will make it a little bit less bulky where we attach the, uh, the top band pieces and also for the pleating that we're going to do along the, the bottom edge here. So set those aside for now. Okay, so that's everything you're going to cut from main panel A. For top band B, you're going to cut a total of four fabric, four out of fabric. So you can either use the same fabric for all four pieces, or you can cut two out of some a fabric that coordinates with your exterior fabric, or you can, uh, and two for the lining, so two that match your lining, or you can do like what I've done. I've just used the same fabric for all four pieces, and all four of them have fusible woven interfacing on the wrong side. Uh, here again, I've used um, the my medium weight uh, woven interfacing. For the two exterior pieces, you're also going to want to add some fusible fleece. Once again, I am going to go ahead and trim away the seam allowance uh, before I fuse it to the wrong side of the two exterior pieces. And you just make sure that when you're doing that, you center it so that there's 
even space all the way around the fleece. I'll set these aside now. Now for your, your gusset C pattern piece, that's this one here, you need to cut two exterior and two lining. All four pieces need to have fusible woven interfacing. If you're using vinyl or cork, you'll see that on every piece there's little notes where there's, it's going to be a little bit different. So if you're using vinyl or cork for any of these pieces, you're not fusing any interfacing to the wrong side at all. I'm using fabric, so uh, if you're using all fabric as well, you'll want to do exactly what I've done. So I've used uh, my medium weight uh, woven interfacing on the wrong side of these two exterior pieces. And on the lining pieces, I've used a lighter weight woven. And then you're also going to need to cut two pieces of foam interfacing, which we're going to sew on to the exterior pieces a little bit later during assembly. Set those aside. Now, there's also a few pieces you're going to need to cut to measurement. So if you look in the cutting section of the pattern, it says cut to measurement. So never mind my little notes here, but this section here is all pieces that you need to cut to measurement. So the first thing you'll need is a D-ring connector strap. So that's going to go all along uh, the exterior gusset. And at each end, you're going to be sewing uh, your, you're going to be adding your D-rings. So this is a long piece. The measurements are in the pattern. And if you're using fabric like me, you're going to want to add some fusible woven interfacing. I added my medium weight for a bit more structure since it's for the exterior of the bag. You're also going to need some zipper panels. So I've done two in the exterior fabric and two in the lining fabric. They all four have uh, fusible woven interfacing on the wrong side. Two other things you're going to need, which I should have mentioned at the beginning, is um, you'll need a, a handbag zipper for the main opening of the bag. If you're using a pre-made zipper, you use a 14 inch handbag zipper. I'm using my zipper tape, of course. Uh, so I've cut a piece that is 16 inches and then once I've uh, finished the bag, before I add my zipper end, I'm just gonna trim it. If I find it too long, I'm gonna trim it a little bit before I add that. And then for your lining, you're going to need a nine inch dress zipper. Normally I also use um, my zipper tape, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to use what the pattern calls for, which is a nine inch dress zipper. Uh, one thing that I get a lot of questions about if you're uh, switching between ready-made zippers and zipper tape, if it calls for uh, something, for example, a nine inch pre-made zipper and you're using zipper tape, always make sure to cut your zipper tape two inches longer because a nine inch dress zipper is actually longer than nine inches because there's this section at the beginning, at the opening of the zipper, and the section at the end of the zipper. So that's a really important thing to remember. I see a lot of mistakes made with zippers because they're using zipper tape and uh, you're not cutting it long enough. Okay, so the next thing is the zipper facing. So the zipper facing is what we're going to use uh, on the opening of our zipper on the in the lining of the bag, so on the interior of the bag. The measurement for this piece is in the pattern and it also has a fusible woven interfacing fused to the wrong side. Then I have uh, my zipper pocket lining pieces and my slip pocket lining pieces. I tried to make it simpler. They are all exactly the same size. So you should have a total of four lining pieces and each one should have a uh, fusible woven interfacing on the wrong side. Uh, the last thing you're going to need is the adjustable strap. So I'm using fabric again. Uh, I haven't pieced these pieces together. So the length that I'm suggesting is 58 inches long. You can absolutely change the length of the strap to whatever your personal preference is for a crossbody strap. Um, I'm going to, mine is probably going to be fairly close to the recommended length and I'm just going to piece these two pieces together so that I have the right uh, length. And on the back, I fused some uh, woven interfacing. 
Um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of decorative stitching and that's just for my uh, Janome blog post. So you might see these look a little bit different in a bit. If you're wondering why, that's why. <laughs> it's not going to be part of this video tutorial because um, it's just going to be in the written portion um, for the Janome life blog. Um, so I've gone over all the pieces that you need to cut. I've talked a little bit about the interfacing. Uh, the only thing that we need to do now is if you take your your gusset C foam pieces along these straight edges here, you're going to want to trim away three eighths of an inch from both pieces, just in the middle here, and and then we're going to we're going to attach these pieces. Um, to your gusset C exterior pieces a little bit later on, and I'll cover that actually in the next video when we begin the exterior assembly of the bag.